This is our gingiva, and that's a tooth. The coronal portion or the crown part of our tooth is made up of enamel. The root portion of the tooth is made up of cementum. Both the enamel and cementum cover the outside of our tooth. The junction point at which the enamel meets cementum is called the cemental enamel junction, or CEJ for short. To put it simply, anything that's incisal or occlusal to the CEJ line and is made up of enamel is the anatomical crown. And anything that's apical or towards the root to the CEJ line and is made up of cementum is the anatomical root. So when it's a lower mandibular tooth such as this one, anything above the CEJ line will be the anatomical crown and anything below will be the anatomical root. However, if it were instead an upper maxillary tooth, then it will be the opposite, meaning anything below the CEJ will be the anatomical crown, while anything above the CEJ will be the anatomical root. Now let's go back to our lower mandibular tooth. Clinical crown deals with what is visible to the naked eye. So let's simulate what this tooth would look like to us during our clinical examination. We wouldn't be able to see these roots that's covered by the gums. Any portion of the tooth that's visible to us above the gum line is known as the clinical crown. And anything that's below the gum line that you would not see is the clinical root. In this case, you can appreciate how the clinical crown is larger than the anatomical crown, while the anatomical root is larger than the clinical root. Now let's simulate a scenario where the tooth is deeper than it is currently. Notice that because the anatomical crown and root use the CEJ as the reference point, it will always be the same amount no matter how deeply or superficially it is embedded into the gums. On the other hand, our clinical crown is smaller than before and is now smaller than the anatomical crown. As a result, we have gained significantly more clinical root, which is now larger than the anatomical root. The opposite is true if the tooth were to be super erupted. Again, the anatomical crown and anatomical root remains unchanged, but now the clinical crown is much larger than before. And conversely, the clinical root has drastically decreased in length. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more dental educational videos in the future. Also, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section and follow us on social media for the latest updates.